I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the free downloadable ebook Terrorism, Exile, and the Path to Freedom. Dr. Michael Youssef uses his first-hand knowledge of the Middle East to uncover the shocking history of radical Islam and discusses the only way to save our Western civilization as we know it. Download your free guide now by clicking on the Free Stuff link at MarlarHouse.com. Offer expires Friday, March 31, 2017. Donald Trump's childhood home in Queens, New York has just sold for over $2 million. The buyer, a Mrs. H. Clinton, plans to bulldoze the place just to work out her frustrations. She considers it money well spent. The U.S. House of Representatives has voted to get rid of Internet privacy rules. So uh, you might want to immediately clear your browser history, people. Former presidential candidate and ex-Florida Governor Jeb Bush would like to see President Trump stop saying things that aren't true. <laughs> yeah! And I'd like the actual Easter Bunny to come to our egg hunt in a couple weeks, but, well, that's not going to happen either. Ivanka Trump has decided to officially become a government employee. Even though she won't be accepting a salary, the first daughter has accepted the job title of Special Assistant to the President. Ivanka, bring me my Twitter phone! Queen Elizabeth II is advertising for a royal pillow fluffer. Okay, you know, I think we can without doubt say the Queen is being paid way too much. A clothes designer in Colombia is making a line of bulletproof fashions for celebrities and politicians. I can hear it right now at the next Oscars. So who are you wearing? I'm wearing Kevlar. Major League Baseball is teaming up with the Honest Company to offer diapers featuring MLB team logos. It's the only case where you would buy logoed items for the team you hate, just so your baby can crap all over them. In Sebastian, Florida, Kristen Morrow, 37 years old, and George Major Harris, 25, were detained after a neighbor complained the duo were doing something possibly indecent under a blanket nearby. Well, when approached by an officer with the Indian River Sheriff's Office, Miss Moreau simply said, I'm part of the Illuminati and Freemasons. You have no authority and I don't have to leave. She then continued her rant at the top of her lungs, claiming she was a famous music talent and had connections to judges that would cost the officer his job. Davis then joined in, seconding Morrow's threats and allegations. Well, this turned out to be a bad move for both of them, as they were promptly arrested and charged with disorderly conduct. Uh, by the way, I'd like to add, I am a Freemason, uh, and Miss Moreau could not be with the Masons, because Masons are only for guys. Also, uh, she forgot the first rule of the Illuminati. You'd never admit that you're in the Illuminati, or that there is an Illuminati. A Kansas man has donated 32 gallons of blood over the past 64 years. Well, I, I really hope it's his own. I mean, otherwise, this could be a really creepy story. As far as Switzerland is concerned, the letter J is not a name. The Zurich Administrative Court said in a ruling released Tuesday it had upheld a local registry officer's decision to reject the single letter as a given name in the best interests of the child. The court rejected the parents' argument they wanted to honor their daughter's great-grandparents, Joanna and Joseph, with the initial as one of her middle names, saying they could have chosen the already accepted Joe instead, J-O. Though the parents wanted to pronounce the name J, just the single J letter, as J, well, the court noted that the letter is pronounced Jot in Germany, creating confusion. So the court also said people would be inclined to put a period after the J, though it was not an abbreviation. Hmm. You know, I wonder what J-Lo, Jay-Z, and J.J. Abrams would have to say about this. The rumblings around the set of Good Morning America have to do with the other anchors feeling resentment towards the special treatment Michael Strahan seems to be getting. So in case you uh, need that interpreted for you, high school never ends. If you're heading to Ireland this week, you might want to stick with Pepsi. Police are investigating after suspected human waste was found inside cans at an Irish Coca-Cola plant. Just so you'll know how it works, topless cans arrive at the factory to be filled with Coca-Cola products and then sealed before they're sold around Northern Ireland. 
Well, the kids in question, believed to have come from Germany, jammed the plant's machines during the night shift. Apparent human waste, uh, number two in the cans, was determined to be the culprit. An unnamed source describes an absolutely horrible scene that resulted in the machines being turned off for 15 hours for cleaning. The drink giant says all the tainted cans were caught and no products available to the public were affected. Or you can just stick with Pepsi – to be safe. A Tennessee couple has been arrested for allegedly trying to sell their five-month-old son on Craigslist for $3,000. Wow! Man, that's wrong! I mean, they could get a lot more than that on eBay. A special campaign is underway where teams of climbers are collecting the trash left on Mount Everest by previous expeditions. Hey, here's an idea. Why don't you just wrap it in a snowball and roll it down the mountain? In Australia, burglars broke into a house, but before taking off with the loot, they paused to get frisky in the victim's bed. Even worse, a house sitter who had been hired to keep an eye on the home while the owner was away slept through the entire thing. Worst house sitter ever. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more and click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. For DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar.